you're free whether you like it or not. I know that sounds a little sassy, but this is something I've realized in my life. There's been moments when I want to break out and be myself and I just try to pretend I'm not actually free when I know I am. I know God has set me free. An example of this was at a worship night a few years ago. I was worshiping the Lord and it was a beautiful moment. The atmosphere, the presence, everyone around us was so just surrendered to God and I wanted to dance. <laughs> I didn't want to dance like a crazy joyous dance. I wanted to dance like a beautiful dance for the Lord. And I was so embarrassed to do it. <laughs> Have you ever been there? Have you ever been in a moment of worship and maybe it's maybe it's just raising your hands. Maybe you're in a, a church where that's a little scary to do that. Or, or maybe it's spinning around. You know, whatever it is, it, it might look different for all of us. But for me, I wanted to vulnerably dance before the Lord. And I was scared to do it. And I instead of just shrinking to fear, I kind of found a darker corner in the room and I slowly <laughs> began dancing. And I was just enjoying the presence of God, yes, but I also had my eyes closed because I didn't want to see who was around me or who was looking. And as I just kind of soaked in the awe of God and just slowly began to let myself do the thing my spirit wanted to do, I opened my eyes and I looked around me. And five, six, seven other people had come around me and were doing the dance with me. And I just want to encourage you, you're free. You're free whether you like it or not, and your freedom impacts the world around you. Not just at church, not just at a worship event, but wherever you're at in your day, you're free. And when you choose to feel your freedom out, even if at first it's not there, you're going to impact people around you. I bless you. I bless the freedom in Christ that you have.